Hey y'all, Paul Wooten here, WRF Customs, coming to you today with a, a video. Um, it's going to be highlighting green light. Whoop, I'm right here. Green light collectibles. Um, everybody's familiar with that company. It's a very awesome company. They um, produce some really detailed, awesome uh, models. Um, they're hitch and toe. It's probably the newest thing that I like that they've come out with. Um, that's always pretty awesome to see some of the stuff they've got. Um, received a text the other day from a buddy of mine, um, Jeff Delson. He's one of the marketing guys at um, Greenlight and been friends with him since about 2009. Um, I think I met him in Vegas in 2009. And, um, really get to know the guy and he's a real cool dude and uh, I've wore him out <clears throat> I think since then about wagons and I think they finally decided to come out with one the family truckster's coming out I think it's coming out in a very lot like a 118 scale but regardless of the scale I'll be buying me one um, anyway he sent me a text and says hey man i um, been seeing your videos and uh, really enjoying them said, hey, if I send you a, a green light shirt, would you do a video and kind of give us a shout out? So he sent me this green light shirt here. And see if I can turn around, I'll see if you can see all the, the back of it. I can't see my back, so I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, um, he uh, sent me the shirt, and that was freaking awesome. Um, he asked me what size. I said, 2x well this is extra large and it fits all right i hope this thing don't uh shrink but anyway it's a pretty sweet pretty sweet shirt but um he stuck a free uh i mean a couple extra items in there that i was not expecting um it's always nice to get a couple extra things in a ra okay and um anyway he sent me this uh this jeep army strong um a little, a little bit of a glare on there eliminate that grill. I went ahead and pre-cut these things so I could take them apart. It wouldn't take quite as long. But anyway, this dude here is a little uh, green light Jeep. It's a quick video here. The top goes on and off, which is pretty awesome. I don't even have any of these Jeeps, but that's cool. Um, second piece was this uh, 2014 Ram 1500 Sport. From the uh, Country Road series, which also looks a whole lot better out of its package. Packaging goes in the garbage. Well, that's cool. And we got a full size uh, pickup here, Dodge. The camera shell pops on and off. And um, I like uh, trucks with cameras on them. So, and it's, that is pretty sweet. I need to get me a few of these Dodges. I think I saw some of them that were all white out there. I need to buy some of those. Those will be good for some corporate decals. And then, uh, it goes in the garbage too. Then he had this wrapped up birds something here. I have no idea what it is. We're going to open it up together. A little bit of bubble wrap there. Ooh, they're brown. Let's, let's see what else is in here, and then we'll show. Oh Lord, have mercy! All right, so it looks like we've got a what year is it? 1970 Ford Bronco green light. Um, got the uh, roll ball roll cage. Send me a couple of loose cars. Save me the um, hassle of opening them. And then, surprise, surprise, we got a green. Um, I would say this is a regular release. It doesn't. He didn't say anything about it being a prototype of any sort. Looks like a regular release. But these these things are pretty sweet. I love Broncos. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, the green machines, but this one here looks pretty good with the green wheels and the green body. Different color green body, anyway. Um, so I thought I'd continue the uh, the green light theme. 
Um, a few years back, they used to have this club called Under the Hood. It's not. It's been done away with um, since then. It was kind of like the equivalent of uh, the Red Line Club, but they, they would do some really cool models. And it was very limited edition. They put them in these boxes. Um, I don't know what it tell you the specs and everything on there. It's a 1970 Chevrolet C10. Pretty awesome vehicle. Uh, I've got one open. This camera that I'm using is real good for kind of the quick stuff, but I, I think I'm going to do a close-up on these. Um, there's quite a few of these uh, Chevy trucks. Here's one that's in another box. It also came out in these um, Country Road series. I'm gonna open them up and get a closer look at them. They did a green light um, Dodge truck also. The glare is just absolutely awful. But anyway, um, I appreciate this uh, rope from uh, Green Light. Um, hope to see you next year uh, when they do the. There's a convention going on in Indy next year. Since your home office is up in Indy, I'm going to try and pick a day and come by and see you. Thank you for everything. And um, everybody go out and check out all the green light stuff. I believe that they they are over the top. Um, I've always liked green light. Um, I collect the trucks, the Chevy trucks, the Dodge Ram Charger, the Plymouth Trail Duster, <clears throat> um, the camper trucks, um, Working on the hitching toes, just haven't had the spare money to buy those yet, but they'll be coming. Mainly want the ones with the campers on them. Um, but anyway, uh, appreciate the uh, the shirt and the die cast. And uh, Jeff Nelson, I appreciate it very much. And thank you and bless your family and your company. And um, once again, uh, we thank you from Paul Wooten, WRF Customs. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.